Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Bill Dolan from Portland. Hi Bill, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you, Meher. Good to see you too. So Bill is the Emmy nominated creative director at Spirit Media. For over 30 years, Bills have produced events for hundreds of thousands, directed broadcasts for millions, and has acted as consultant for world-class organization from startups to Fortune 500 companies. In 1999, Bill had a death experience that changed his world view and approach to communication and marketing, which we're going to talk about later. And years of research led him to write the book, The Seven Disciplines of Relationship Marketing. Today, he has recognized authority, a national speaker and workshop trainer of the seven DRM system. And in his free time, he, loved family, he loves family time, CrossFit, redefining his cookie chip cookies recipe, which I want one of them, and writing uh, with his office buddy, Marcella, their tubby cat. So Bill, my first question for you is in terms of personal branding, why it's important these days and how can job seekers tell their story through personal branding? Well, let's start with why it's important. Number one, there's the old classic saying that people want to do business with those they know, like, and trust. And trust yeah. I'll go so far as to say people that they, that they know, love, and trust. Um, because once you get past the question of who are you, mm -hmm. that is the door that opens to say, is it meaningful for us to engage, to move forward with this relationship, whether it's an employee-employer, a contract contractor, or, or a client-vendor relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. And where personal branding comes in is it allows you to get through that front door more efficiently. So instead of getting to the who are you, you can move into that deeper step of the relationship. And so now, just for the sake of clarity, personal branding at its heart, really, is not just putting a paint job on, mm -hmm. putting up a logo, a name, anything like that. It's really, and it, and it probably the hardest part of it is that everyone has to ask the tough question, who am I? Yeah. What are my deepest passions, my, my, my skill sets, my experiences that really form and shape my life compass? Yeah. And how can I, in the, in the process of being the best version of myself, can I bring that to my family, my friends, my life, my workplace, mm -hmm. my business place? Yeah. And so personal branding is both a process of discovery and then being able to share it in a way that becomes that gateway mm -hmm. to relationships. So how can people share? I know that a lot of people these days go on LinkedIn, which is the professional platform, to share their values, to share their stories, to tell who they are. Is there any other way, in your opinion, that job seekers can tell their personal brand online? Well, yeah, there, there really is. And, and there's, there's a couple things at stake here. The first is recognizing, look, we can't be everywhere. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we can't be. We pretend to be, but we can't. And so part of that understanding a personal brand, part of that includes understanding who you're uniquely positioned to serve mm -hmm. and who your heart is to serve. And so when you understand um, who you're uniquely positioned to serve, like, for example, I'll give you a, a, my scenario yeah. here at our creative agency, Spirit Media. Now, I've come from a background of television and entertainment and marketing, but the people that really are the bed and bread and butter of our agency are companies that have a deep interest in growing their marketing presence. They'll call us because they want us to help them tell their brand story. Yes. We'll work with them on their messaging. We'll work on producing that video, that brand video that really typifies um, who they are to their marketplace. Yeah. Uh, and then also we do experiences. So we'll do sales conferences, fundraisers. So we produce all that stuff I used to do in entertainment. I do that for corporations and nonprofits. Yeah. Now, who buys that? Well, it's not probably going to be a solopreneur. It's not going to be an individual. Most of the companies we work for, the smallest is 20 to $100 million in revenue. 
The mm -hmm. average is a half a million to four billion in revenue. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I know the people that I really can uniquely serve, it allows me to say, now what is going to be the buying journey of mm -hmm. that individual or group? So when I ask that buying journey, uh, how will we create awareness? How will we create learning, understanding? How will we create an engagement where we can show up? That limits your platforms. Yeah. So could we be found on Facebook? Yeah, but most of my clients are not looking for vendors like me on Facebook. Could I do it on Instagram? There's a possibility, but for the most part, Instagram, even though it's a business component, is really an entertainment yeah. platform. Okay. Um, will they go on to LinkedIn? Probably. Mm -hmm. Senior and C level executives, you're going to find on LinkedIn. And it's the C level, the chief marketing officer, uh, the chief communications officer, the chief uh, sales officer. Uh, anywhere in that C level and then figure out yeah. what name it is. Yeah. They're yeah. probably on LinkedIn and that's going to be the platform. Mm -hmm. So if I focus in that space, it allows me to be more effective at targeting uh, yeah. that. So just to summarize, the first thing that you have to ask is who is my market? Yeah. Next is understand who they are and what their buying behavior is. For example, I'll go a little bit deeper. In my book, I talk about creating personas yeah, and yeah. the idea of a persona. And I give a formula I call the 10 digit human address. You know, in Newfoundland, all around the world, we have these zip codes and numbers that yeah. attach to the region. Well, if you actually follow the, the formula, you're going to find a way to identify that person. And so here's, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you key elements. Okay. Okay. If you know who that audience your call to serve is, start with what I call first the win off formula. Mm -hmm, and that yeah. is what are their wants? What are their interests? Yeah. What are their needs? What are their objectives? What are their fears and what are their frustrations? So that helps you get a sense of, of who they are and the ways that you can best address them and serve them. Yeah. The other things though, are going to be buying journey. Yeah. A lot of people are busy trying to pitch their product and say, oh, I got the sales process and that stuff. Look, your sales process is nothing if it doesn't match the buying process of the person you're called to serve. So find out um, how they make decisions. Do they get referrals? Do they read certain type of publications? Do they watch TV, read magazines? And what social media behaviors do they have? So it allows you to start matching your media vehicles yeah. to the media behaviors of your buyer instead of wasting time and money. And of course, there's other things like understanding their demographics yeah. and, and understanding uh, elements about their psychographics. When you start putting those things together, that is mm -hmm. going to shape your formula because your note, your communication is no longer going to be just a blast hoping that people respond. Mm -hmm. It's going to be as intimate as a love letter. Focused. Because you know exactly who they are, and you're going to be able to say things that are relevant and meaningful, mm -hmm. both through the media behavior and the things you say. Thank you for those great tips, Bill. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Bill a couple of questions. And I'm going to post them the whole week, kind of a journey with us, kind of an experience with us. You can like all the videos, share your thoughts. And if you have any other tips, leave them below. So tune in next time for other great questions with Bill.